Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. What I have on my nails is one one or two coats, depending on how streaky each nail was, of white polish. This is Milani High Speed Fast Dry, white on the spot. Okay, and now we're going to be using a bunch of neon colors. Starting with a couple from Clean Color. I have a green and a blue. This one is called Neon Aqua, and this is TLC. Then I have some colors from Color Club. Here's a pink and an orange, much more distinct in person, obviously, because neon is crazy on camera. And then I have yellow and a purple. The purple is called Peace Out Purple. We've got Almost Famous. I have Warhol. And Wham Pow. <laughs> They didn't have labels on them, so I had to handwrite it. That's not the way they came. Um, so what we're going to be doing is some gradients on our nails. And so what I'm going to do is start with a little tray where I can drop my colors. I have some cosmetic sponges that I've cut into small pieces because I like to work with small pieces. If you want to use tweezers, you can, or use the full-size wedge. This is, this is the way that started out, is a wedge. So... To start off, I'm going to use green and drop, I'm going to drop some polish here on my tray. Then I'm going to do blue and purple. Okay. You can take a toothpick or anything you want. I'm just going to use my pointed end of a dotting tool and kind of swirl the colors together where the two dots meet. It helps with the blending of the colors. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to take my sponge, pick that up with the sponge, okay, and I'm going to start by dabbing that across one finger. Now, an important thing when doing gradients is not to dab for too long. What will happen is this polish starts to dry and it'll either stick pieces of sponge on your nail or pull the white polish off of it. So just dab a few times. If you start to feel it getting sticky, take it off and go to the next nails. Once this has had a chance to dry, you can go back over it again with another layer and then it will brighten up the way you want it to look. I'm going to do the same with pink, orange, and yellow in another corner using a separate piece of sponge. Don't use the same one over different colors, otherwise your colors will all be muddy together. Okay. Now taking this other piece of sponge, I'm going to pick up that color, okay, and I'm going to place it over my ring finger. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that alternating color on each of my nails, and then I'll come back for the next step. Okay, so here's my gradients as bright as they are going to be, and I wanted to show you guys too, if you're new to gradients and you get you make a mess, don't be afraid of that. I, As you can see, I have a ton of it on my skin. I am going to clean that up because you're, I'm trying to get along the sides and everything so I don't have these white lines on the sides. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this, and now I'm going to clean up using my cotton swab and nail polish remover and come right back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is stamp over those gradients. Starting with this plate from Winstonia, plate 216, and I'm going to start with these little people disco dancing. What I'm going to start with is stamping them in white using that same white that I have on my nails. Okay, so what I'm going to do is place them on my ring finger like that, okay? Then we're going to clean the plate to get the white polish off, okay? And then we're going to go back in with a black, and I'm going to use clean color in black. Okay. 
And now what we're going to have to do is we're going to try to line this up so it's almost exactly in the same place as where the original image was. So I'm going to roll that over. And so now those dancers have a little bit of highlighting behind them, which really makes them pop. Okay. And then what I'm going to do on the rest of the nails is I'm going to use this image on the same plate. We're going to use this one here. We're going to do those in black as well. So I'm going to do the black here. And this one has a lot of bold image, so you want to make sure you scrape really gently so that you don't scrape off the, um, the polish from the plate. Okay. And then using that open squares towards the tip of the nail, I'm going to stamp this over the rest of the nails. See that? So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other nails. And then I'll clean up around the cuticles again. And then we're going to put top coat over the top. So let me go ahead and do all of that. And I'll come back and show you the final look. Okay, so here they are. Top coated and cleaned up. And I have, as you can see, I alternated the colors so that my ring finger has a different gradient on each one. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!